Welcome to the show. It's called Vessels, and uh, of course, uh, we are all vessels. You know, it's a uh, connection to uh, water and to uh, um, how we are all 90% water anyway, and so how it affects us, uh, us and animals at the same time. Animals we're connected to, and sometimes we're not connected to them. But um, so the theme here is uh, uh, this, this: animals on uh, on rafts, floating, or you know, that feeling of floating, uh, and uh, there's a certain amount of sadness in some of these pieces, and there's some uh, uh, hopefulness, you know, a celestial sort of uh, reference sometimes, and um, and also this, this uh, natural wood uh, theme, which this one actually uh, represents quite, quite well, because I go for walks every day in Royal Roads, and uh, one... Uh, last year, I think it was last year, two years ago, a uh, big storm came and blew this tree down. It, it fell across a fire lane, so they had to sl slice it up. And so I counted the rings, 320 years, and uh, wow, it was just, it was so sad, but so amazing, 300 years. And that made me think, that's about the same as the Industrial Revolution, really. So our human sort of evolution has been in the last 300 years. Um, while this tree was actually, you know, growing silently, quietly, and, and not saying a word, you know. <laughs> so, um, anyway, this is a special piece for me. And, and the theme here of all these cedar twigs, I've used them quite a lot. I found them in Royal Roads too. And you kind of doctor them a bit and then start playing with them. Um, and I've noticed that with this climate change, there's been a lot of um, uh, cedar trees dying. In, in this uh, uh, global warming thing. So again, there's that lack of water, and then, of course, there's references to, to floods, you know, Noah's Ark here, the, the, uh, the rhinos, the two animals, they're actually a ghost animal, and they have actually sort of, there's two of them, but, but they're one at the same time, so it's a sort of a cut-out thing. The other uh, piece I would like to reference is the, um, the coyote, and Joseph Boys. Now, if you just Google in Joseph Boys, you'll find that he was quite a, a eccentric character and had a lot of uh, a sort of history, but a very uh, well documented uh, artist. He, um, his first trip to America involved a coyote, a live coyote. Uh, he, he arrived in uh, New York wrapped in felt and uh, was taken to this gallery for a, for a week still wrapped in felt with the Wall Street Journal and in this uh, gallery with, a, with a, a live coyote. So you'll see photographs of him wrapped in felt with this coyote tugging away. And his, it, it may tell you what his, his idea of this coyote was that the coyote is, is to, the, to the indigenous people in North America a, a revered animal and to the, to the visitors, <laughs> uh, the coyote is a pest. So there's a kind of a discord there, you know, which really is part of, uh, of Joseph Boy's idea of using the coyote. And the other part of Joseph Boy's, uh, he was the founder of the Green Party in 1972, I think, in Germany. You can Google that one in two. So, quite an influence on me, Joseph Boy's. So um, I think I could go on and on, but I, I won't. I think uh, <laughs> it's probably best. Uh, less said and let the work say, say something, but uh, um, yeah, but anyway, thank you for coming.